Hey Gemini, Gemini Rising, this is your March 2015 reading. So for the overall tone of the month, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. So let's start off with your work then we. Um, we are feeling a little bit stressed out, Gemini's, in this uh, month of March. You're a little bit shaky, a little bit feeling insecure. You say yes when you don't mean to say yes. Uh, somebody at work could have uh, taken um, credit for your work. Or you could have taken credit for somebody else's work. And, um, you know, you've got to come clean because if you don't, this, uh, could come out, uh, well, it will be, ca you will be caught out. And, um, and, and so you might as well just be up front. This is also about finding the balance, finding the balance and, and not letting too many, because I feel like this month there'll be, everybody will want a piece of you, Gemini. You have been flying high in February. Um, you know, you have a wonderful month in February. So in March, you know, you, you might not, um, find it easy to say no. You might uh, have so many people pulling you in every direction that you're finding it very hard to keep your mind on your job and keep yourself present at work. So you might be taking some shortcuts. Don't take the shortcuts. At work, maybe um, the balance is being uh, unable to say no and put more work being lumped on you. You know, you need to speak up and say no. You know, don't let other people take advantage of you at work. It's quite possible in March that you've been so busy uh, loved up and work being so brilliant and you know um, just that you've got a bit carried away even for some of you might you might have just gotten carried away so finding your balance at work making sure that your mind's on your job you're present at work when you're actually at work that your mind's not wandering that you've got attention to detail that you're not letting anybody take advantage of you trying to take um, credit for your work don't take credit for anybody else's work attention to detail don't stress don't panic and if you're having problems at all if the workload's too much just be honest and say so and you'll get all help and support that you need so in um at home we have the ten of swords in reverse and this is all about family members feeling insecure about their standing in the family um you know giving reassurance out that they're to this person that they are not unfair and that they're welcome at home supporting somebody supporting them through their time of need somebody at home could be having um uh, back problems or having reprieve from back problems this is all about um this is all about uh, moving on from uh, someone stabbing you in the back, having pain in the back, supporting someone who's having a difficult time. Um, and this is into your world where maybe they're feeling embarrassed. Maybe someone in your family is embarrassed about their behavior and they're too afraid to, because this is the overall tone of the whole month. So, you know, maybe this person is insecure, embarrassed about their behavior, ashamed of their behavior. Maybe they fell off the wagon. Maybe um, they cheated. Maybe they uh, did something disappointing. And in whatever fashion, um, to you, they are uh, embarrassed and shy and, and not able to, um, they're feeling inferior and insecure. If this is you feeling that way, is this how you're actually feeling? Is this all in your head or is this just because you're overwhelmed because you've got so much going on? Because in your love relationships, you've got the hermit in reverse. This is coming out of yourself, coming out of your head, taking a chance, taking a risk. Um, if you have put someone on a pedestal, maybe you need to take them off that pedestal because no one's perfect. Um, because that's what this card represents is putting someone on a pedestal, pedestal. And, you know, that's really not fair to them because you're putting them with such high expectations that they, they sometimes they feel like they can't do anything wrong because then they're a huge failure. But the hermit in reverse is coming out, coming away from being on your own. Maybe you're coming through a time of grief where you've lost someone and now you're ready to venture out. Maybe, um, you lost someone through death and you're just finding that you're feeling ready to venture out now. Maybe you um, are feeling uh, confident enough. Uh, maybe for some of you, I feel like there's a Libra out there who's lost a lot of weight, who's feeling really good about themselves. Uh, they come out of a, an abusive relationship, not just lost um, 100 pounds in weight, but lost 100 pounds because they dumped the, the abusive, manipulating broke. Um, so this month, you're going to be coming out, being full of yourself, being brave, you know, taking a risk, putting yourself out there. And, you know, it won't be for nothing because Gemini's in March, it's all about, you know, saying no. Uh, it's all about people, everybody wanting a piece of you. It's about um, getting balance at work, finer details, 
sticking your your mind on what you're presently doing. If you're home, keep your mind at home. Be present at home. If it's work, keep your mind on the job. Keep your presence on the job at work. Be there when you're there and when you leave, let it be left behind at work. That's the balance you need to find this month, Gemini. Other than that, you'll have a wonderful month and I'll see you in April.